Good morning, my name is Ercia Moreno and this is NTV. Welcome to NTV for Friday, August 27, 2021. In this episode, we'll have highlights from last week's football game versus Esperado. First, there are a few announcements. Attention seniors, it's time to start scheduling your senior portrait so you can appear in the yearbook. You can scan this QR code to schedule your appointment. You can also get additional tips, ideas, at prestige.com. We recommend getting your senior portrait taken care of in the fall so that you don't have to stress out about it later in this year. And now for our main story. Last Friday, our varsity football team had their first game of the season at home versus the Esperado Spartans. This was the first game since the pandemic that had fans in the seats. All day we were, although we were behind in the first half, our Nighthawks did not give up and they flew to victory in the second half beating the Spartans with 27 to 31. How did it feel to play in front of fans again? Uh, it felt pretty good just because like, I don't know, like last season we didn't really have that many people coming to our games because we, we had to have a, a certain amount of people come, but just hearing like everybody cheer for me, cheer for the team, it was, it was a really good feeling. It made me feel really good. Okay. How did, get, how did you get your nickname Tarzan? Uh, I got it like in middle school, but it's because I always had long hair. See it? I can't really put it down right now, but I had long hair and I've always been somewhat of a muscular guy, so that's how I got it. Okay, so the game started off a bit rough. How did you guys push through it at the end? Uh, honestly, it's just perseverance. Like, you can't stop it. You got to keep going 100% every play, every play, 100%. And that was probably the biggest reason we came back because we, we had them beat mentally. And mentally, we were here. We we're winning. So, like I said, it's all a mental game. Can you say your name? Darius Hemingway. How old are you? 15. What grade are you in? I'm a sophomore. Oh, cool. Okay. Who do you think got the winning touchdown or who was the MVP? Me. Me. I love the confidence. I'm here for that. Um, when it was difficult, what did you do to push through? Like, just forget about our, our mistakes and you know, the whole game. Like, we fumbled a few times. A, f a, couple, a, f a few times? Yeah, like two times. <laughs> yeah, two times. Got past the fumbles and all that. Just played right through it. What are your thoughts on that upcoming game versus Liberty Ranch? Oh, we gon' we going to beat them. Simple as that. What are your thoughts on the upcoming game versus Liberty Ranch? Uh, well... There's, <laughs> there's never been a team that really threatened me, so I'm not worried. I think, I think our team could pull through for their dub. We could make an easy dub as long as we all do our assignments and check in the game. Okay. And who would you like to shout out? Sheesh, I can shout out whoever. Yeah. Uh, Thank you. Guys. Shout out my best friend David. He's right there. Dylan, shout out him. He got injured, but I love that man to death. And shout out, shout out Paul, cause it's like my little cousin. I love that kid. Okay, thank you for your time. I'll see you at volleyball. Thank you. Bye. That's it for our show. Come out tonight and support our Nighthawks as they take on Liberty Ranch. We'll see you next week with highlights from both football and, and volleyball. As always, it's a great day to be a Nighthawk. Call.